Hi guys, today something special. I got this uh, BMS software from the uh, Narada battery manufacturer. So currently I've connected to two batteries out of the four. These two, the connection is not so stable. Lah. So let me just show show you first. Then uh, maybe another video uh, when I solve the, the the other two problems, then I show you another in another video. So currently I'm I'm connected to this RS four eight five network cable, the normal network cable. Then going to this one, the dongle to the USB with these two lines. You can take note the colors, the colors. So currently is a uh, communication okay lah, deep switch zero because I all set it as master. So com three, com three. So the this is the 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 software, BMS software. Okay, let's go to the info. Information here. This uh. Charge status, communication okay, charging, the serial numbers and all, all that. Firmware, firmware nothing. Book ID, you know, date, time date, you know, all this. So, let me see this one. Read info, you see, it comes in. So, battery ID, battery code. It's all inside so there's no alarm protection or alarm don't, don't have then uh, this is for a single pack it can read multiple pack if they, if they are connected together which I, I don't so these are the battery packs 16 packs and they are working the BMS working can see it, it working online now it's online then there's some value this is voltage per cell average voltage max Minimum per cell difference, current charging capacities fifty five. I think they they are using the the sixty sixty ml hour batteries. No, capacity now it now uh, current capacity uh, loop three hundred. Uh, charging charging hours or something. I'm not sure, because today is a hazy day. Uh. So I'm using the 485. Then beside this, ah, uh, nothing much. Uh. Let me compare. Nothing much over here. Multi packs is just it's just not uh, pack zero. You know the address, PCB board, and the uh, cell voltage. Uh. It, this this is the same as the other picture. Uh. As this single single pack. This is the same because it's a single pack. Remote record nothing. This one I can't get anything. Uh, let me see. Nothing. Nothing can can display. No. This is to save save something. Display. Ah, it is uh reading the what they are doing cell by cell by the time. By the time, you know the records. Uh. So don't display. It's uh I believe I I download once is uh total record of two weeks which quite some quite long only this this is only this is good where you the battery has a problem and you can track it track it how it works within the two weeks so uh, next page parameters so you can read first this is the protection parameters this is reading it's reading this one they say read read parameters not not I think NG not available I think not available because maybe it's a firmware issues or a bit different version of BMS so I don't think there's any issues so this is the protections this this setup all that is they have even uh, temperature protections you know I believe there are four temperature props inside uh, it's a wake up time and all that so go to the alarm this one the alarm and they have to read the parameters first now 
I'm not sure why it always red. Let me, I have, I will write email to the manufacturer for the communications. Let's see how is it. So beside this configuration, nothing else. Nothing is just a blank page. Probably they give me this software is just to view, not to configure it. So that's why this this have been uh, blocked off. That's how I think lah. Uh, to me, it's good because I'm the user. I'm not the configuration. I just want to see the, the BMS working and all that uh, battery status, storage. Okay, this is to read read time. You see, read the time. The time with the time within the BMS. You can write the time. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they read BMS or the computer time. Okay, read records. So so now you see it's reading the normal lock lah. A lock lah. and you can go go for the 16 cell all 16 cell alarm this alarm is the bms is working charge discharge you know the timing the timing is it runs two weeks this record goes goes for two weeks so that is how i connect it it's not supposed to connect with the rs485 it's supposed to connect the rs232 but I'm st I still cannot get this working. I have the RS2. I'm trying to, to get it work first, but uh, I have not get the right configuration yet. So let's see later. There will be more videos on, on, on this. So this is still running. I hope this helps. Uh. I hope this helps those who have this Narada batteries. Thank you. Bye-bye.